periodically you should watch fights in order to analyze them deeper by scrubbing through, slowing things down, and taking notes so you can learn and implement what you are seeing. You don't do this to every fight, but you should do this to fights that have a very clear showcase of skill of one of the fighters and execution of their game plan. A masterclass on display. One of these fights was a UFC fight night in Jacksonville, Florida on June 24th, 2023, Emmett versus Toporia. And this was a masterclass of Toporia utilizing his jab to win the fight. The jab did everything for him. It set up distance, it set up his combinations, set up the kicks, and it won him the fight. Now this is also clear a fight of styles where you have a very technical boxer, Toporia, who utilized his boxing perfectly versus more of a wild power puncher. I wouldn't say a brawler, but definitely more of a looping, brawling type of style that Emmett has. So the contrast of styles was perfect for this fight matchup. And Toporia was able to neutralize the heavy-handed and the looping power approach of Emmett and just damage him everywhere for five rounds. So I wanted to break this fight down in order to learn for myself, see the subtleties of what Toporia was doing in his footwork, in his setups and his feints, how he was using the jab to gauge distance, as well as beginning to set up his combinations. So let's get to it and let's break down this fight in more detail. So by the end of this video, you will walk away with a lot of techniques and tips what you could try out in training while drilling and in sparring. First thing to point out is Taporia's fight stance. The entire time for five rounds, his fundamental fight stance and his boxing skill were top-notch. He kept his hands up, he was very light on his feet, very mobile, rarely did he drop his hands, and the most important part is him keeping his hands up. Emmett is a power striker, very powerful punches that usually take people out. And keeping your hands up allows you to minimize the amount of damage you receive. And Toporia's footwork also added on top of that, he was able to avoid a lot of the shots. Also note that Toporia does not drop his hands to check any body punches. He lowers his elbows instead while keeping his hands up by the chin. And Emmett does a lot of head-body-head combinations, like right there. Throws a jab to the head, then goes cross to the body, and a uh, either a cross or a hook to the head. And that allows him to set up a lot of strikes for a KO because a lot of people drop their hands to protect their body, but not Toporia. Toporia lowers his elbows to check any body shots while keeping his hands up by his jaw, by his chin. So always keep your hands up and if they're going to the body, then just lower your elbows to protect the body while keeping your hands by your chin. Also note that Toporia keeps his chin tucked in into his shoulder. He has his uh, lead shoulder slightly raised and then he's tucking his chin into that shoulder and you'll see this throughout the fight. That gives you a little extra protection to protect your chin, to protect your jaw. Toporia is also very light on his feet. Anytime Emmett presses and throws, Toporia is out of the way. You can see how constantly he moves in and then just hops back or moves back out whenever Emmett is thrown. That allows to minimize the amount of damage that, uh, that Toporia receives. Another note on fight stances is kind of comparing the two. So Toporia is very light on his feet. He is balanced over both of his feet at the same time. He doesn't lean too far forward or back and he never seems to be out of balance. And if you look at Emmett, Emmett is very forward heavy. He almost leans in on top of his lead foot. And this is based on his wrestling uh, style. He is primarily a wrestler or that's where he started and he wrestled for a long time. So you could see that it's a very forward pushed, uh, kind of almost out of balance fighting style, fighting stance. And that actually causes a lot of trouble for him because he's very immobile. Now he moves around a lot, yes, but if you just take a look at his fight stance, um, he gets crushed with a lot of leg kicks because that kind of forward heavy style where he leans forward too much does create problems where he's not able to kick as much and he's not able to move as fast away from the kicks when Toporia begins to calf kick him. So you can see how heavy it is. And that kind of style also opens you up because of his looping punches that he throws. Now the looping punches and the power shots that he throws gives him a lot of distance because he's leaning forward but that takes you out of balance so you can see that Toporia was countering a lot of his shots based on the style and the stance that Emmett was using. 
So this is why I like uh, Taporia's fight stance. It's very balanced over both of his feet. And he's very mobile because of his fight stance. Uh, versus Emmett's very kind of leaning forward heavy. The next thing, of course, is the most important part of this entire fight. The jab. Taporia's jab won him this fight. The jab is the most important punch in fighting. It gauges distance, dictates the pace, disrupts counters, doesn't let the other person get off their shots, and of course it sets up your all other shots. And the jab in this fight is what won Taporia the fight. He used the jab constantly. The step and jab, the flick jab, the pawn jab, and he dictated the pace with it. And then, because he threw the jab, it opened him up to throw the combinations, such as the jab cross combination, the jab cross hook, which Taporia throws beautifully in one of the exchanges, and a jab uppercut. And eventually opened him up to throw the kicks, the calf kicks that he did. And it's all because of the jab. The calf kicks did a lot of damage, and Ahmed didn't even see a lot of those coming because he was too afraid of getting hit with the jab constantly. Also, kind of going back on the fight stance, because Ahmed is so lead forward heavy, leaning over his lead foot, it didn't allow him to move out of the way or check those kicks due to his stance. But the constant jab in the face had a lot to do with landing those kicks. Another thing I really liked that Taporia was doing is responding right back to Ahmed. So when Ahmed would throw, Taporia would stand there and trade with him and set up his combinations. And he did this constantly. So when Ahmed throws, Taporia would move slightly just out of the way and come back in with a jab cross combination or another combination. And this all goes back to the fluidity that Taporia had in his fight stance, as well as using the jab to set up all his other strikes. But that slight step back and then coming back and returning and firing back is an excellent way to counter. When somebody throws, you just lean out of the way and then come back and fire your shots. Another very important thing that Taporia did was use a lot of feints. And feints are the key to landing a lot of shots. And it worked for Taporia very well. And you can see this throughout the fight. What Taporia would do is he would do like a slight little half step and dip his shoulder or kind of move, either pretending he was going to throw something to the body or throw a jab. And it made Emmett react constantly. And Ammon didn't know if uh, Taporia was throwing something or not. So that response, this is what you want. You want to get a response out of your feints. And then you can set up your shots. So anytime you get your opponent reacting, you have the upper hand. You are pushing the pace. And then you can kind of pick your shots. You can feint to the body and then go to the head. Or you can feint one punch and then throw another. Kind of setting them up. So feints are extremely important. And Taporia used a simple, effective feint to set up a lot of his shots. Another thing that Taporia did really well is anytime he overthrew and missed with his shots and then put him out of balance, he recovered very quickly. And this goes back to Taporia's fight stance and allow him to recover quickly if he overthrew and missed with uh, his shots. But that was not the case with Emmett. Emmett constantly overthrew and was out of balance throughout this entire fight. And it's based on his power looping approach and style that he uses. And the only thing that I noticed in Taporia is he loops his jab. So he throws the jab straight, it's nice and crisp, but then when he brings it back, he loops it down. And he did that constantly. And you really want to bring your jab back in a straight line. The same way you threw, it comes back. You don't want to loop the jab back. Now, in this fight, it didn't matter because Taporia was just outclassing Emmett. So the mistake of that jab not being brought back didn't matter because the jab was landing and Emmett didn't have an answer for it. But that's something that I noticed that I did not like. And I always mention to everybody that you should bring your jab back and don't loop it down. Because eventually somebody who is better at boxing, at striking, will pick up on it and will counter. So I hope this video was useful and helpful. You got a lot of tips out of it. A lot of techniques you could implement and practice and drill. And I will see you in the next one.